Hello, this is Dr. Heisinga, the Infidelity Coach. I'm here in my writing den and looking at question number four in the top ten questions that you should ask when confronted with infidelity. And this question number four is, what gets triggered in me through all this? You see, you don't want to be in a reactive mode. And a reactive mode is when he or she, your cheating spouse, says something or does something. It triggers in you. Uh, you get angry. Uh, you start to defend yourself. You start to explain yourself or give reasons for what he or she is trying to say. You may throw a fit. You may shout. You may yell. You may scream. Or you may clam up, you may withdraw, you may freeze, you may withhold, you may get depressed, you may move away, you may begin to think, poor me, you may begin to feel as if you are a victim. All of these are reactive modes in which you react to what he or she is saying. And reactivity gets you basically nowhere. What it does is it perpetuates some cycles. Do you ever feel like you're going in circles? That you can almost predict what he or she is going to say, and you can predict how you're going to respond, and you can know how he or she is going to respond to your response, and so on and so forth? You, you know that cycle? That's what happens when you begin to get into this cycle of reactivity. And as well, um, it's not very attractive, is it? You find yourself being an unattractive person when you get in this consistent reactive mode. What I want for you to do, what I want for you is I want for you to act. And I want you to act with your power. I want you to act with your words with what's valuable and important for you. I want you to act rather than react. And you say, okay, yeah, sure. Easier said than done, isn't it? But, but here's the beginning point, okay? When he or she says something that's powerful, or at least tends to elicit a powerful response within you, ask yourself, what is this trigger in me? Instead of reacting, ask yourself, what is this trigger in me? And a very helpful step here is to ask yourself, where in my body do I feel this trigger? Because feelings are basically physiological. And when we begin reacting, we feel it in our bodies. And so what you can first do is shift the focal point from your reactivity to where do I feel this uneasiness? Where do I feel this in my body, in my head? my chest, my stomach, where do I feel it and what does it feel like? And then rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. Okay, this is uh, a 10. This is bad as it can get. Or this is 9, it's been worse. Or this is 8, it's getting a little bit better. Rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. And then be aware of the negative thoughts that flow through your head when you feel this awful feeling in your body somewhere. Be aware of what you're thinking. Be aware of the negative thoughts. Now this may seem or sound kind of weird or kind of, kind of simple, but it's very, very powerful. And it's the beginning step, a basic beginning step for you to move from reactivity to your own power. And when you have your power, good things are going to happen. For the rest of the Q&As in this series, go to the uh, web URL listed above or in the trailer. Uh, this is Dr. Heisinger, the Infidelity Coach, and this too shall pass.